Bhagavad Gita, verses 37 to 38. O Janardana, the intelligence of Duryodhana and others has been polluted by greed to attain the kingdom. Thus, they are unable to see the faults that arise from destroying the dynasty or the sin incurred by betraying their friends. But since we are in knowledge of these faults, why do we not consider the situation and refrain from such improper acts? Sar Artavarshini Arjuna asks, Alas, why are we still inclined to engage in this battle? To answer his own question, he speaks this verse beginning with the words Yadi Api, Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti. Arjuna considers that in this battle there are teachers such as Drone Acharya, Krip Acharya, maternal uncles such as Shalya and Shakuni, family elders such as Bhishma, the sons of Dhritarashtra, and relatives and kinsmen such as Jayadrata. Scripture forbids turning against such persons. You should not quarrel with one who performs sacrifice on your behalf. A family priest, a teacher, a maternal uncle, a guest. Those who are dependents, like young children, the elderly and relatives. But I have to fight with these very persons. Thus Arjuna expresses his unwillingness to fight with his own kinsmen, who now stood before him. Arjuna contemplates. Why are they determined to fight with us? And concludes that they have become overpowered by their petty, selfish interests. They have thus lost their ability to discriminate between what is beneficial and what is not beneficial, between religion and irreligion. As a result, they have forgotten the sinful reactions that are incurred by destroying one's own dynasty. We have no selfish motives, so why should we engage in such an abominable and sinful act? Thus ends the Sar Ardavarshini Prakashika Riti by Sri Srimad Bhaktivedanta Narayan Goswami Maharaja on the first chapter of Srimad Bhagavad Gita.